clock has rung. Your day has begun. Disciples in training, pull up your socks. Shake off your butlin's breakfast. And prepare for your sweatbands to get full on sweaty. It's time to look up, wake up, dress up, stand up. Rise up, disciples, and release your masterpiece. Welcome to the Big Star Boot Camp. Every time we look up, we remember.
today. He's not dress up anymore, so woo, don't need that. You, you okay, can now. stay standing if some of you want to, because we're going to do our motto. Yes, and, and today I'm... our new line of our motto is to stand up and remember why we are here. Okay, so we're going to go through them all. Yeah, we're can you remember all. the mottos? Ooh, uh, yeah, that's a no. On the screen. So, <laughs> So it's look up and remember who he is, wake up and remember who we are, dress up and remember what we need, and now stand, stand up, up and remember why we're here. Hit the beat. Here yes. we go, everyone. Come on. So if you want to stand up, when we say stand up, you can. I'll just reach your hands if you're up able, to the sky. Here we All go. Right. Talking about being awake, yes. I have been looking around to see if these disciples are ready for our big mission tomorrow. Big mission tomorrow? I don't think it's our <laughs> decision to choose who's ready or not. Well, I think, you know, we are the lead trainers and we found out that I've got lots of knowledge. Yeah. So and I'm going to make but sure God, you're all oh, ready. Hold on, God's the ultimate trainer. So we're just here to help along the way. Yeah, I know, but we're the, we're the lead coaches. So I've decided that I'm no longer going to be Mr. Jotivator. I am Mr. Notivator. And I've been taking notes on all of the candidates and checking them, so act up, so I need you to step up. Thank you very much. Right, you lot, let's see if you're good enough for the discipleship team. Let's have a look. Joe, you are Joe Kicks. Yeah. I need more kicks. I need higher kicks. Higher kicks. Danny, I need you to get fitter and stronger, okay? So running on the spot. 
Pip, I need more reaching from you. Be confident. Reach, reach, reach. And I'm sorry, Cosmo, but your Bible knowledge is appalling. Oh. So we need more of your Bible knowledge. Let's do the reciting of the books of the Bible. Are we ready, everybody? Let's go, go, go. Come on. Here we go. Come on, kicking high, kicking high. Not jogging, jogging, please. Please, not high enough. Not high enough. The Viticus numbers you can run and jog. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, more, 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 more! I need more! No, I need no, 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 no. Joe, you can't just go around telling people what's wrong with them. Why not? It's not, it's not cool. Oh, it's not cool. And, yeah, and also, you know, I mean, we're a team. We're in this together. Yeah, but I thought that maybe I could help because they need to stand up more and so they can be counted. I know, but you're asking us to do the impossible. I can't keep my legs that high anymore. Joe, come on. Maybe we should shine a light on who God says they are. Oh. And, uh, you know, remember that we're a team, so we've all got different skills in different areas. Yes, but I just think that it's... Oh. 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 Oh, no. Oh, oh Joanna. No. Oh, no. What did I say this morning about putting 50p in the meter? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I asked you, have you got your 50p? Uh... <laughs> uh, do you know what? I was I had breakfast and then I, I forgot my oh. phone in the room. Well, I'm leaving it up to me again. I always have to rescue you, all right? I'm oh. going to go and put 50p oh, no. in the meter. Leave me a minute. Right, here we oh, go. Oh, dear. Oh, well, um, at least we can use the emergency lights and... Oh. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, thanks. The 50p, that'll keep us going for a bit longer. And, Joe, do you know what? It wasn't really totally my responsibility. You, I just go around blaming everyone all the time. I wasn't blaming, I was trying to get you to improve. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, Act Ups, can you help me? I think Mr. Notarator needs a little bit of help with this. Um, maybe we need to have a story from the Bible and, well, I'll tell you what, I think we also need to worship. Yeah. Uh, Becky, um, <clears throat> hey, come here. You are right, Joe. Can you help me on need some serious help this morning. Okay. Uh, Mr. Notivator's on one. Right, uh, okay. Can you help us worship? We will definitely worship. Let's take a glass of the Joe. Okay. Right. Everybody, we're going to worship. Things aren't going too well. We're going to take a moment to remind ourselves that we stand upon a solid rock, which is Jesus. And we're going to hope that this helps Joe as well. Now, where you are, just watch me because I'm going to teach you the actions and then we're going to stand together and sing this. And they go like this. Build your house, we're going to make a shape like that. Build your house on the rock. On this land, you won't be knocked. Build your life on the top. Make your home upon the rock. And then when we get to the chorus, we're going to say this strongly together. Stand strong. I think I need to get you to your feet for this. Let's stand up if you're able to. Let's stand now. And we're going to say together, stand strong, God is with me. Stand strong, God is for you. Stand strong, Jesus is the rock we're on. Okay, let's worship together.
let's grab our hands and raise them up in the air this morning as we say, we thank you that you are the solid rock under our lives. trust in you again this morning. Amen. If you'd like to take a seat. guys, do you want to see the real mission? Yeah. Okay, 
It's time! It's Mini Mission Time! Clap on, clap off kind of lights. Can everyone give me one big clap? No, uh, I don't think Big Start has that sort of budget. Oh, I know. Alexa, turn on the lights. No, no. Alexa's not from the 80s. No, oh, what are we going to do then? Once upon a time, there was light in my life. Now, now it's, it's only us in the time. Well, I don't think that's talking about physical light. I think it's talking about the light that Jesus can shine in our dark situations. Well, there's light that we definitely need, don't we? Yeah. Well, you know what? I know a story that can help us out. Tuna Handbook. The Bible. The Bible. Oh. Oh, no. This is a bit of a tough story. Yeah, but, guys. I think it's really important to tell this one. Yeah. Hey, Danny, do you huh? fancy um, do you fancy playing Jesus? Uh, are you sure I'm up for it? Absolutely. Uh, thanks. Now, Jesus was back in the temple, and a crowd were waiting to hear him speak. When all of a sudden, the, the Pharisees, Pharisees, the teachers of the law at the time, they were out making a right scene. Jesus, we bring with us this. Woman! They threw her into the crowd. She was caught in adultery. She was being unfaithful with the man in marriage. The law says that we should stone her. But what do you say, Jesus? Jesus said nothing. He started to write in the sand. Well, well, what do you say, Jesus? Jesus stands up. All right. If any of you have never done anything wrong, throw the first stone. <laughs> Where have they gone? Did anyone not stay to punish you or call you guilty? No. No one. Then neither do I. Go. And from now on, do no wrong. Oh, wow! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus, he, um, he helped someone in a really dark situation. He brought light to their life. And he gave them life. Totally. It wasn't about shaming her. It was about standing up for what is right, just like Jesus. Exactly. We need to open our eyes to see how we can do things differently. Oh, yeah. And that would definitely bring the light. Yeah. Right.
gentlemen, um, for what was right. I was trying to stand up to get everyone to do things what I wanted. Yeah, you see, it's Jesus, he actually shone a light on the people who thought they were doing the right thing, but actually they weren't being very kind or loving at all. I know, and I thought I was, but I was tearing you down, not building you up. And guys, can I just say, I am so sorry. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have been judging you. I should have been seeing what you are and what God's doing in you. So please forgive me. Of course we will, Joe. Do you know what, Joe? You are a light bringer. Just like Jesus. And you bring light and love to everyone here, doesn't he? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Phew. Yeah. Hey, that reminds me of a Bible verse. Oh, Where's yeah. the Bible? Oh, here's the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Ephesians 5, 8 and 10, I think it is. Yes. And it says, live as children of the light and find out what pleases, pleases the Lord. Lord. Oh. Yeah. Should we do it with a beat? Sure. Right, oh. everybody, we need you to join in. Oh, Live yeah. as children of the light and find out what pleases the Lord. Yeah. Come on. Live as children, children of the light and find yeah. out what pleases the Lord. Ephesians 5, 8 and 10. And then we're going to say a prayer together. And then we're going to finish with the motto again and an amen. Are we ready? Let's pray. Stand, Stand up, up and remember, remember why we're here. here. Father God, help us not to judge others. Help us to remember that you are the light and shine light in our darkness and in the darkness in the world, please. And help us to stand up for you. Stand, Stand up. up. And remember why we're here. Ready? Amen. Lovely. Well, now, since you're on your feet, we may as well have a little boogie because I think it's time to do our theme song. So we're going to grab our whiz kids who are coming. Give the whiz kids a round of applause. I tell you what, these guys have got some crazy energy. So you've got to match it because these guys are awesome. Welcome, whiz kids. Up you come, guys. Well done. Hey. Well done. And they're incredible come. leaders as well. Coming onto the stage, give them a clap. Okay, over to you guys. Let's do the theme chart. Nice work. Every time we look up, we remember who you are, how you made the heavens.
the whiz kids! Yes.